as it says on the coffee cup, I'm Rob from Charles Street Video. And I'm going to demonstrate the uh, Red Rocket, which we have now available as a mobile bookable item, Thunderbolt to PCI adapter box. For anybody who's got an iMac or a laptop with Thunderbolt, you can take advantage of this thing. And anyone who's processed red footage on an iMac or a laptop, or even on a big Mac Pro system, um, you can have a pretty powerful system and it still takes a really, really long time, especially if you're dealing with 5K footage. The uh, processing time can be unbelievably long. So with the Red Rocket, you've got a whole bunch of CPUs that are designed to do one thing and only, and that's the transcode red footage. And it also allows you to have pretty well real-time playback. Uh, so I'm watching um, some red footage right now, and it's playing back nice and smooth. Um, you can also book out one of our uh, LCD monitors, and I'm going to switch that on now. So this allows you to see red footage with a proper color space, because a computer monitor doesn't really give you an uh, accurate representation of a video signal, the color spaces are different. So I'm feeding right now the uh, from the Red Rocket footage and you're able to do a proper assessment of the color values and of course when you're working with the Red software um, the idea with it is to do some rudimentary color correction. So uh, for those of you not too familiar with how the Red does things, uh, you're working with raw image files and um, all the settings that you've set up in the camera when you were doing your shooting things like the ISO or the white balance, things like that, um, they are all recorded as metadata. They actually are not hard written onto the files. They are completely variable. So after the fact, I can come in here and dial up all these different settings and um, you know, so you're not stuck with the ISO that you, you have. And then as well, there's the whole white balance control as well. I can completely change from one extreme to the other, the white balance. And um, so when you press the little M button, it brings it back to uh, the settings that the uh, footage was recorded at. So M for metadata. So these are all things that are sort of rough estimates of what, you, what kind of look you want. And uh, usually you would do a final correction later. I'm going to go ahead and select a uh, preset that I've set up. So it's just an uncompressed 8-bit 1080p by 24p and I've selected clip and viewer and then I go export and uh, I can select, I can rename this or whatever. I'll just add a one to desktop and uh, so now it's actually doing the transcoding and it's estimating about uh, under two minutes to do the clip. I would hazard to guess this could take easily an hour uh, if you're not using Red Rocket.